50 seconds of what we do in the Sony logos. Also, I will not stand idly by as the Columbia lady gets lazily slimed. It was a dark and stormy cliche. <laughs> Movie immediately sets the originality bar low by opening with a retooled version of just the two of us, as if suffering the indignities of the spy who shagged me wasn't punishment enough. Also, if this is the hotel's 125th anniversary, how was Drac able to rip off just the two of us when Mavis was a child a full many, many years before its release in 1980? And now Andy Samberg has shown up to f just the two of us harder than the military f Bin Laden. Hasn't the eternal soul of poor Bill Withers been through enough already? Thank you, Johnny. What a wonderful surprise that was. Speaking of surprises, I was somewhat bemused to discover that Sandler didn't return to play Drac this time around. On the upside, Sandler's move to Netflix is hopefully the final nail in the now mostly metal coffin that is this franchise. On the downside, murder mystery and murder mystery too. <laughs> Movie decides to conveniently lose some of the pups and their associated letters from Happy Anniversary, all so it can make this paper-thin, very fine ass joke. Such a shame when Raven's hairy nappy was such an obvious option. Dad, Johnny did all of this for you. But it was a bunch of nonsense that Dracula obviously didn't want, so I'm going to go ahead and say that Johnny did this for himself, and that you are full of I've seen enough iterations of vampires to know that ice sculpting with a chainsaw is not a superpower that Hollywood usually chooses to showcase, perhaps with good reason. Dad, I know you and Johnny don't always see eye to eye. But here's what's weird. For the most part, they do see eye to eye. It's actually one of the more unique angles in this franchise, which leads me to think that someone is desperately trying to manufacture the shit out of some family drama, which makes me desperately uninterested in the next 80 minutes. After being friends with Drac for over a century, you'd think they'd immediately recognize this sudden lost time as him using his powers and berate him for this clear personal violation. Or at least check their wallets. Not so loud! Mavis is supersonic eating! Why would she be listening? Because her superpowers are tied directly to the plot, silly! When I finally give the hotel to Mavis. <laughs> What? So is it only Mavis that has the selective super hearing superpower? If it's a vampire thing, why didn't Dracula get triggered by her immediate what that suspiciously followed his big reveal? Dad is gonna retire and leave us the hotel. An announcement he no longer needs to make, given the volume with which you're sharing this secret. Movie never tells us anything more about this multi-eyed monster who can apparently vanish between shots. I, I guess I just never got the feeling that he really thought of me as, you know, Part of the family. It is mind-blowing that all of this sudden tension and animosity is coming out on the same night. Why are we forcing this? Look, it's totally fine to let a franchise die if you've run out of ideas. A lesson that could have been learned after the first movie. I can't believe it! I'm gonna explode into a thousand little excited bits! There's being overly excited, and then there's having impulse control issues. Pretty sure Johnny is the latter, and Drac is correct for being apprehensive about giving over control of the business to someone who, without warning, may decide to remove all the doors because he thinks they're too impersonal. No amount of yoga is gonna make me less nervous about a floating nervous system. It's gonna be the ultimate Johnny takeover! Hard for me to root for Johnny when he neglects to include his wife in his takeover plans. I have to get out of this. I have to. Less than 10 minutes in and Brian Hall is already regretting his career choices. Then that property shall be forfeited and repossessed onto it. Whoa, those are some serious it's. One might go so far as to call them bullshits. I would absolutely love to give you the hotel, but you know, you're not a monster, so can't. So the main conflict of this movie can be boiled down to Sony Animation not being okay with women owning businesses on their own? This is hard to watch. I agree! Take it away, Blobby! Movie thinks it has time for almost a full minute of very relevant to the kids of 2023 cha-cha sliding. So, you want to become a monster, huh? Van Helsing? Yeah, you remember him, right? The guy who spent a century hunting Dracula and essentially everyone in this room but had a sudden third act change of heart in the last movie and is now apparently allowed to live in the f***ing basement ready to kickstart the plot at a second's notice? Found it! Behold, the monstification ray. It turns any human into a monster. And it's usually stored in a special box that says break glass in case of no imagination while in the face of studio pressure to create a fourth movie. Sign me up for teeth like these. Ooh, and seven eyes and laser vision. Oh, and... it doesn't work that way. Oh yeah, because a hitherto unknown ray gun that does the very thing Johnny needs it to do is fought, but adding any further specificity to its MacGuffinery would just be a bridge of believability too far. Got it. Don't worry, Mavis. This is gonna fix everything. Because of the cartoonish domino effect of the plot, it surprisingly sort of does fix everything. And as a result, no one learns the real lesson about engaging in dangerous science experiments without a helmet or a jock strap. Huh, that's weird. Nothing happened. Premature non-monsterfication. 
thinking the ultimate reveal of this beastie boy would be impressive enough to warrant a shadow tease. Sneaking around like this when you can turn into a bat and just fly away. We never see Johnny at all concerned about the disappearance of his wedding ring. Oh my gosh, Mavis! She's gonna love the new me! Not knowing your wife even a tiny little bit. We've had three movies that were basically all dedicated to how little she gives a sh about whether the people in her life are monsters or not. Is this thing shaped like a d on purpose as a metaphor for modern day masculinity? Discuss. It has a human setting? Either Van Helsing has been sitting on this tech for fucking years and wasn't using it to defeat Dracula, or he's invented it since being here and no one suspects he's still on a monster hunting mission. Either way, Drac should be more fucking concerned than he is. The nightmare, it's over. I'm human again. Premature decorpsificate. Wait, why the fuck was this transformation instantaneous? I better be careful. There are monsters everywhere. He will, in fact, not be careful at all. Scene decides to show us that there was enough space to go over the luggage, so we know how stupid a choice it was to go through. <laughs> Admittedly, there's very little peer-reviewed research to pull from, but nevertheless, I don't think this is how monsterfication rays work. That was not your father, just some random monster. Everything is normal. Being this willing to Benny Jesserit, your grandson. Also, what happened to... All right, can't freeze other vampires. We all want to forget that second movie, but it feels like this installment literally has. Oh no. Yeah! Look, it's possible this thing has enough concussive force to knock a bat out a window, but it seemed more linked to putting Drak in peril since it barely moved this dude and moved this dog in an upward direction for some reason. <laughs> the now human Drak survives this. You're human and I'm a monster. It's like Freaky Friday, but on a Tuesday. Somebody is begging for an excellent at CinemaSins and I won't have it. Freaky Friday implies body swapping and no amount of Tuesday will make a rewriting of your genetics fit the genre. Thus concludes my membership application to the official genre police of the internet. The sonic screwdriver is magically removed from this guy's chest without leaving a hole. No! It can't be! Hey, have you seen my dad? Good to know that Mavis's super hearing powers that were invented for this movie can be foiled by some double glazing that we normies can apparently hear through. These crystals are very rare and hard to come by. Of course they are. Well, luckily for you, I was brilliant enough to install a locator on the ray for just this situation. Of course you did. There it is! South America! me, the effort this movie is going to to manufacture an adventure for itself is staggering. I'm half expecting the final reveal to be that the characters themselves are making a Hotel Transylvania movie, but they all give up because they realize they have no experience making movies and have no idea how to make it even remotely engaging or believable. We're entering is deadly. An escape. Impossible! Then how the f*** did you manage it, asshole? It cost me my right back wheel. <sighs> So it wasn't impossible. This is becoming a bigger waste of time than listening to Jim Gaffigan talk about Hot Pockets. I can't think of anything less satisfying than yelling in a text. Okay, got it. Send! It's quite telling that we never see the buttons that Frank is pushing. Likely because the only message those digits could have monster mashed was just Deffy Dweef! Nah, I just sent him a gif. I thought this was dumb, but I've done the research and can confirm that the ice caps are still in fact melting. But we've solved the problem of gifs not having sound by converting them to MP4s. Hey, here's the blobby! Devaluing toasts as a currency by giving them out for doing whatever the f*** this is. Jeez. I'm sure they've consumed worse, but none of these guys seem to be concerned that this water is green and luminescent, despite it 100% not being so at the start of the party. Oh, something is happening! Actual audio from the night I lost my flower somehow makes it into the movie. Naked! But apparently, nippleless? <laughs> Huh? Excitement? <laughs> Actual audio from the night my hand lost its flower somehow makes it into the movie. How is this plane even in the sky? The question Boeing never thought to ask about the 737 MAX. Also, I guess we're straight up recycling scenes from the previous movie. Just gonna milk that monster cow until the udders are dried up husks and that poor abused bovine just begs for the merciful end of banishment to a streaming service or to be buried forever as a tax write-off. Well, maybe some fresh air then. <laughs> really know why Drac is so worried about changing back into a vampire. Seems his human body is just as indestructible. This looks like the seating plan for the 125th anniversary celebration, but it looks nothing like how we saw the tables laid out at the start of the movie. The sun! <laughs> if this case is empty enough to fit a grown-ass adult inside it, then Drac should have bought a much smaller case. But CinemaSins, whatever would we have done without this hilarious Dracula hides from the sun even though he doesn't have to, but... I know, I know. 
be a real shame. I'm sorry. The sun won't fry you now. You're human, remember? It's totally safe. Skin cancer has entered the chat. The sun, it's magnificent. I cannot believe that my whole life I have missed this elegant splendor. Most versions of Dracula have a pre-vampire phase, at which I would have assumed they saw the sun, but not this one, because he's no poser. Addresses on this side of the street make a hell of a jump from 820 to 4507, unless there's over 3,000 addresses directly across the street. Are monsters just normal in this world? I know people know about Dracula and Frankenstein and stuff, but you'd think a fucking dragon navigating traffic would at the very least warrant a double take? Or a hey, can I have a selfie? Your monsterness is weighing us down! Don't worry, Drac. I've got an idea. Using Flintstones logic to solve your commuting problems. Now the ice has lost its glow and the physical properties of the green monster beam continue to evade all logic. Look, Drac said he and Johnny will be back with a cure. We just need to lay low until then. Could you lay low in a way that means we don't even have to see you? That way we can shave off this entirely unnecessary and rather gloopy B-plot that's been stitched onto this movie and a fifth simile that's related to mummies. This is not funny, Wayne. I'm not laughing. That's what I've been saying. No one is concerned about all these wolf cubs and the up apron view they're being exposed to. Mavis, what is going on? This just in, breaking news. Newsvenient consposition. Don't worry, Drac, I got you covered. I'm calling bull shenanigans on any of Johnny's clothes fitting Drac this perfectly or even at all. Dracula packs way more lamps and chairs than he needs for this trip. And where am I going to find the shower in the middle of the jungle? Either one of these two can inexplicably conjure weather or a low pressure system was in on the joke. Ow. Am I so wet? And yet completely dry. Something, something, college girlfriend, something. Sometimes they're just too easy, which is exactly what my parents said about my college girl. Wahoo! He'll get bit by a bunch of fish and it will be hilarious. And no kids will learn that the most dangerous part of what he just did was not checking how deep the water was before he jumped in. <laughs> Firstly, it's kind of ridiculous that Drac is getting cell phone service in the middle of the fucking jungle. Secondly, you know what I'm not throwing away in the middle of the jungle? A cell phone with service. The transformation keeps mutating and won't stop until the subject becomes a mindless, ravenous beast. Man, they just went ahead and baked every f***ing plot catalyst right into this ray gun, didn't they? Why didn't anyone tell me that claws are so awesome? Said no cat owner ever. Don't worry, Drac. They can't bite me. But they can apparently understand English? Here. Try this. Griffin actually tries this. Me, on the other hand, easy on the eyes. How exactly did Frank's transformation work out like this? If Frank is made up of multiple different body parts, wouldn't he be some amalgamation of the humans he is made from? How are all of his proportions so proportional? Yes, this is the real issue I'm having with the monsters transforming into humans plot. What of it? Sorry, I didn't think leaving them at a monster hotel would be safe. That explains why you brought the newly minted humans, but not why you brought the kids. Also kids. A monster killing machine? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a death trap. Maybe, but it's a shitty death trap since you are still alive. How are we gonna find them in there? I think I have an idea, but we're gonna have to take this search to the ground. That was a lot of wind up to reveal your genius plan is to look closer. Also, I feel like a car in a jungle is just about as useful as, uh, well, the fact that I'm struggling to find a more ridiculous comparison is probably damning enough. They are driving very fast because it makes the scene more exciting and not because it is necessary for what they are doing now. You slapped me so hard I lost consciousness. Oh, 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 me next, me next, please. Oh, I think we took a wrong turn. How the f does one accidentally climb a mountain? This franchise plays fast and loose with gravity so much that I can only assume a bitter family feud existed between the Newtons and the forebears of the people that wrote these movies. It's the only explanation. But blow out the fire and crack open the burnt stuff, you'll find something sweet and gooey inside. Or, you know, you could not cook it directly in the fire and enjoy the whole fucking thing. Enjoying life no matter what it throws at you sometimes means you stop giving a shit about preventing the shit that's actually preventable. gooey -licious. In an affront to Destiny's Child, this statement was not preceded by I don't think you're ready for this jelly or any other preservative for that matter. You know, raising a daughter on your own for so long, you're constantly worried. Skip the hotel. It's something really special. And the fact that you would trust me with something so important, I just can't tell you how much that means to me. Despite acting like a meth-chugging cokehead for most of the movie, we now see a reasonable version of Johnny that is supposed to make Dracula feel bad for being too reasonable. <laughs> 
of all the Indiana Jones they could have borrowed from, they chose Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Wait, wait, wait! What are you doing? Duh, she's making use of this natural stone that nature has completely naturally turned into a natural ramp in the most natural way possible like nature naturally intended. That's it. The crystal is in there. So what happened all that sh Van Helsing talked about then? The impassable jungle was, well, quite passable, and the deadly river was, well, less threatening than a bubble bath. Where was the adventure? <laughs> Sudden log flume rides being the only thing worse than log flume rides. Never explaining this magically pressurized water spout. Sorry, sweetie, gotta take this. The phone is as big as her. Where the f was she stowing that in bat form? Movie, do not answer that. Luckily for Mavis, Google went way out of its way to map this non-road in the middle of the jungle. They entered this fortress of dullitude just to bring us a bunch of hollow mirrors nonsense. Make a sharp left. Is there a setting on her phone that gives vampires specific directions to keep you out of the sun? Because that is the only reason this app isn't telling her fly straight at the destination, dumbass. Keep moving, legs! Mari appears to have gone to the newly established Egyptian campus of the Prometheus School of Running Away From Things. Ah. Ooh. Deus Ex Crocodile! Now that we need some tension, the sun is super motivated to get into this cave. Sorry about this, Blobby. Now I see why he didn't get a human form. It was so he could be disrespected like this. Johnny, you are the marshmallow! This bullshmallow works. Wait, he had a marshmallow on him? Sometimes it's like these movies hear me coming and just start sinning themselves. And that too is a sin. I was so worried that you would ruin everything I cared about. And despite what this movie wants you to believe, you were absolutely correct to worry. I'm not saying this movie needs more animated ass, but it's definitely weird that Johnny's clothes show signs of wear and tear, but are largely intact after this whole hulking ordeal. My hotel, my hotel, my hotel, my hotel. My hotel. Also, Dracula appears to be more concerned about his hotel than the guests it is holding or his fucking grandchild. You've had to follow this asshole for four movies, and I cannot fathom why he's still the hero. Rebuild it the way you want to. It's your hotel now. Dracula being all like, fuck it, it's broken. Your problem now, peace. It's time to begin a new chapter. It is not. We just made a couple of tiny adjustments. Thinking that a portal to a two-dimensional reality is a tiny adjustment. What? He's tanning? Is UV light not... <sighs> Never mind. I give up. Nuke this franchise. Nuke it good. I am become bored to death. I order you to cease any and all supernatural activity and return forthwith to your place of origin or to the nearest convenient parallel dimension. I'm excited. We're ready for our next course. Oh, you know Johnny. He just gets a little carried away. However, I'm the real victim here! I'm the one you swore to protect! Take it away, Blobby! Blobby, Blobby! Blobby, Blobby, Blobby! It turns any human into a monster. Where did you get a sonic screwdriver? Mavis! Shooting Tex. Papa Drunk, was that my dad? Um, I, I did. Everything seems to be in order. Everything seems to be in order. <laughs> Feeling better? Give me a kiss. Aren't the sounds of nature soothing? Wings? Oh boy, that Red Bull's some strong stuff. 